What the heck? This is my 1970 something Japanese Les Paul copy with my uh, fake Freely. Since this is a fake Les Paul, I got a fake Freely uh, strap. But it's a very nice little thing. It's got the uh, coil splitter. This is a Seymour Duncan and PAF, of course my way I always like it but basically this is you know kind of looks like Tom me Bayer or fake Freely's guitar so I had it kind of decked out as a Mick Mars thing but then I saw his fake Freely's first uh, attempt at his spaceman guitar it's not the spaceman he's a replacement hired gun so I figured eh, this is a pretty this that is actually a really nice guitar I got it for like nothing I think it was like 60 bucks it's uh oh, gosh who's the big they were not Ibanez they kept going they were actually like the Ibanez copy it, but it's a Japanese I can't think of the name of it because I covered it up and I put Gibson on it so Everybody just assumes it's Gibson, and if I played it and said this is a Gibson standard, everybody would go crazy. It's a it's a Gibson copy. I even have a, a Mick Mars plate, so it's a bolt-on. But this is a really nice, it's a decent guitar. It's not really nice. It's cool. So there you go. Enough yapping. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
now <laughs> I'm tired of say I'm not saying it I'm just gonna put it right here subscribe or is it here wherever wherever you see that just click subscribe so I can get a thousand and we can go on with this otherwise you know I've been right here right here lesson Randy Rhodes he was giving me this is a this, the tape. I'm 12, 13 years old. He's giving me. Come on! Don't you want to hear it? I just need a couple hundred more, and then we get to the thousands, and then they'll let me monetize again, and I can put more time and money into this. Right now, it's like a 20-minute sit down. I edit for like an hour, and you get this. If I get paid for it, you get more bang for your flipping buck. I can edit it, I can have it edited by somebody, I could do it right, I could, you know, record, do things, go to Stevie T, you know, watch that kid, the dorky, the dude shreds, but I want to do something like that, but more metal, more serious metal, and more history, because he doesn't have a history, I got a friggin' history, man, Starting from the Motley Crew before Motley Crew, meeting Nikki, meet, being, taking lessons from Randy, and then just being in the scene and playing and getting right there to getting a stupid indie label and going out on the tour for like two years, and then poof! And then I got out and went into film. But I did it! 